Hello, it's Carly McAvoy. I'm talking about angles. We're talking about degrees, minutes, and seconds. I uh, just wanted to have a look at a circle. I've got a bunch of these uh, degrees marked. If you start here on a circle and you go all the way around, you've used 360 degrees. So every circle has 360 degrees. So um, if you're going, normally we talk about just like I did, we talk about degrees and we're talking about angles. But for many of the trades, angles are sometimes written more precisely using degrees and minutes. And in a few cases, such as surveying or sea navigation, angles are measured in degrees, um, minutes, and seconds. So um, every circle has 360 degrees. We just saw that. A semicircle is half a circle, so that's 180 degrees. So if you hear somebody said like, oh, I thought I was going to do that, but then I learned this and I did 180 degrees, meaning that you totally changed your mind. You were headed this way, 180 would be going the opposite direction, right? So a semicircle is half of 360, which is 180. And one-fourth of a circle is 90 degrees. And of course, 90 degrees is a very... Um, usable angle to get to know because there's a lot of things where you have to do something that's what they consider square and they just they assume that everyone knows that's 90 degrees of course there might be a little tolerance but for the most part it should be close to 90 degrees if you're doing the you know two walls coming together or something like that but you can break uh, minutes or degrees sorry up into minutes there are 60 minutes in one degree so a one degree would be a little tiny thing right so one degree is small, but there's 60 minutes in there. So that becomes much more precise when you talk about it with the minutes. And then we can break minutes up into seconds. Just like on a clock, which is a circle, there are 60 seconds in one minute. When I write 32 minutes, I write it as 32 with one tick mark. And 32 seconds is written as 32 with two tick marks. So that's the difference between what minutes and seconds look like. Um, so there are 60 minutes in a degree and 60 seconds in a minute. Therefore, one degree is 60 minutes or 3,600 seconds. Where'd that number come from? Well, if you take 60 times 60, that's where that comes from. Whoops, I did too many zeros in there. Um, 3,600, that's it. Two zeros with 36. So that's where that comes from. So just remember that if you were going to change one degree into seconds, you'd have 3,600. That's a lot. What I'm going to show you how to do here is to add um, with degrees, minutes, and seconds, and then subtract. So when I want to add these, I'm going to line these up 5 degrees, 49 minutes, and 51 seconds. It's just like adding other measurements. You want to keep <clears throat> them separate like if you had yards feet and inches you would keep those separate as you added them first I'm just going to add them 51 and 12 is 63 49 and 18 9 and 18 is 7 and then 4 5 67 and then 15 degrees so I just added them up, but I can't leave 63 seconds because if I have 60 seconds, I have a minute. So what I'm going to do is subtract 60 and that's going to leave three seconds and I'm going to add one. And then I can't have 68 minutes, so I have to subtract 60 from that and that leaves eight minutes. But what do I get when I have 60 minutes I have one degree so I add that on there so my final answer is going to be 16 degrees 8 minutes and 3 seconds so the thing to remember here is that I'm carrying 60 and I'm taking away 60 but I'm only putting one under there because 60 seconds is one minute 60 minutes is one degree so we, we take away 60 and we add one to the column to the left okay what about this one I don't have any degrees here I have 18 minutes. These are really, really small angles, I can tell you that. And then I have 41 minutes, 21 seconds. Well, when I get 39 and 21, I get 60 seconds. And then I have 9, 59, like that. Okay, so 
if I take 60 away from this, I have zero seconds left. Then I'm gonna carry one and I have 60. And I then have to take that away and I have zero left. And what happens, I'm putting one, I have to carry that one over there because I took away 60 minutes, I have one second. And so what I have is that these two things added actually equal one degree zero minutes and zero seconds. I think in the computer they ask you to go ahead and put the zeros in if you get them. So that's exactly one degree. So it looked just these two small things added up to one degree. And I'm going to admit to you right now, I did not do that intentionally. That's awesome. I meant for that to give me uh, a one here, but I didn't realize I was going to have zeros all the way wrist across. But anyways, good. That's a good example. I like it. Fate was working with me there. What about if you want to subtract? Well, if I want to subtract, I have to borrow 60s, right? Because when I borrow, I'm borrowing in minutes or degrees, and they have a relationship of 60. So I have to remember that I'm not borrowing 10s like you do in normal subtraction. And so here, I don't have, I can't take 25 from 14. So I'm going to borrow 60, and that's going to give me 74. And that 18 now becomes 17 because I took one of the I took one of the minutes and made 60 seconds out of it. Now I'm going to subtract um, 75 minus 24 is 49. I almost grabbed my calculator, but then my brain kicked in. And then 17 minus 12 is 5, and then 22 minus 10 is 12. So 12 degrees, 5 minutes. 49 seconds, but realize that sometimes in order to subtract when you're doing this, you have to borrow. Whether you're borrowing here or here, you're going to borrow 60 because that's the relationship between the two. What if I had something like this, 54 degrees, and I'm subtracting 17 degrees, um, 18 minutes, and 32 seconds? Well, isn't it true that... I, that could be 53 degrees and 60 seconds and zero minutes, right? 54 degrees, and then I could take one of those and make it a 60, and then I could take 53 degrees, change that to 59, and then make 60 seconds here, right? So basically, I took one of the degrees and made 60 minutes. Then I took one of the minutes away and made 60 seconds. And now I have something that I could work with. I needed those degrees and seconds. So 42, 52, 62, 28. Well, we can actually do this without having to use our brains. I mean, we can write it down. 28, and then I'm gonna subtract 59 minus 18, 141, and then 53 minus 17. Thirty-six degrees, forty-one minutes and twenty-eight seconds. I kind of did slow walk through this, but I wanted you to see very clearly how I got fifty-four, went to fifty-three and sixty, and then that went from sixty down to fifty-nine, and we had sixty. This is a full second. If I added in that, that'd be 60, and that'd be a full minute, and that would add back on. All right, that's it. Degrees, minutes, and seconds, addition and subtraction. Have a fantastic day.